What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be hopping on uh, New England Mountains and I'm gonna go after some whitetail. Now I'm at my first location. I got a couple of uh, whitetail here. I did spot out another level two, but I got a doe block in the shot. And today I'm gonna be using the British 303. Smoke them and the others are taking off. We'll take down a doe. Alright guys, let's pick up the doe. So I guess she was actually about to flee. So I got her in the vertebrae at 184. And let's pick up the buck. Got a double lung at 193. Alright folks, um, I've came across this before, but as you can see, I do have a floating rock. So let me know in the comments if you guys are seeing these on your New England mountains. I'll show you where I am on the map. So you got this outpost top right corner, about in this area here. Now when you walk close to it, it you you kind of lag. Now I think I'm stuck. So you definitely want want to actually avoid the floating rocks if you do see them on your map. I just want to let you guys know. And like I said, let me know in the comments if you guys notice anything like this. Alright guys, I got a spot on some more whitetail. I only got one decent buck in this zone here, so I think he's going to be the only one I'm taking down, unless I don't got any hunting pressure. But maybe to get a follow-up, maybe I'm just going to take down a doe. And that worked out perfect. Alright, let's pick up the buck. So I've got a left lung, stomach, and liver at 214. And got a double lung. Alright guys, got a spot on some more whitetail. Now I got a zone here, and I got a zone over here. Now I did spot the guys that are out further. They're over 400 yards. These guys here Okay, by 272. I do have a two miner on the other side of this doe. Is that him? No, that's the... If I had a clear shot... Gonna see if I send out a call. If I can get her to move. The reason for this is I don't want to get in too close so the other herd gets spooked. Oh, that rock's gonna block my shot. Smoke them. Okay, the other ones didn't hear the gunshot, so that's good. Alright guys, I got in closer range. Got a couple two miners, but nothing too serious. I think this is actually the bigger buck out of the herd. That's a doe. Alright, let's see what I can do here. I did hit him, but I don't think I hit him good enough. Well, that was a blind shot. I don't think... Oh, there he goes. His health is dropping. He may go down. In the meantime, let's pick up this other buck. So that's what I'm noticing from last time, the 
their spook radius it kind of jumped up they really react uh, quickly so I've got this guy at 212 yards got a heart and right lung all right let's pick up this buck double lung at 212 Well guys, I was trying to find my other buck and I was actually just trying to peek around the corner here and uh, at a distance I saw this. So I thought the buck turned the other way. I guess he, well that really looks uncomfortable. So let's claim him. So yeah, I got a flesh at uh, 222. Alright guys, I just spotted a new drinking zone for Whitetail. I got two bucks there. I think the guy on the right is bigger. I could be wrong. Actually, is there three bucks? Oh, there is. Alright, let's take down at least two of them if I can. I think this guy actually is pretty big. I just can't spot him. Oh, he walked right into the bullet. Alright guys, let's pick him up. Now I do believe I shot him twice. So the first shot got a right lung and then he fled and ran right into the bullet. Got a double lung. Alright guys. Well this is the last herd that I uh, spooked. So they're coming back in. I want to take down this buck here. Unless something else better comes out. Nope. The other one actually had a better estimate. Drop them. Alright. Let's pick them up. So, got a double lung and liver at 68 yards. Scoring 199. Alright guys, I'm going to show you where I am on the map. So, this is where I am. So, basically I started on this outpost, worked my way down. Now, I just checked out a zone for Whitetail, about 240 yards. I got a very nice buck. I got a level 3. Estimate 253 to 294. Now that's a big buck. Now if I take him down and he does score a diamond, he's going to be my first diamond on this new map. Definitely want to get a better broadside shot. I got a very good wind. He's not facing me, so he shouldn't really get alert unless the other ones get him. I definitely don't actually want to call him to get him to turn. Okay, he's about 180, actually 160. Alright guys, I think I'm going to go for the shot. Drop them. Alright guys, here he is, moment of truth. Now you need a 255 for a whitetail I believe and his minimum was 253 up to 294 if I'm not mistaken. So let's pick him up. And he is going to be a diamond. Double lung 167. Well, let's uh, save him. Level 3 
whitetail buck, 210 pounds, scoring 259. I'm going to take a couple of screenshots here. Well, I'm really glad I hopped on the New England mountains and went up to some whitetail because it paid off. Alright guys, I had to back up the time and I decided to check out a different location. I just spotted out two new drinking zones for whitetail and these guys are actually getting spooked. There must be a bobcat around. Oh, there it is. But I do have a pretty big buck, and he's actually working his way towards me. I think I'm going to try to get on him here. That's a very nice buck. I probably got a single lung on that shot, but he did pile up. Maybe you see about taking down another buck. He's down. Not too sure if I'm going to get a shot on this guy here. Hopefully I don't delete the zone. Uh, actually, I better verify the range, but by the time I do this, he's going to be further out. I did make contact with him, but I don't think that's going to be a vital. That's definitely non-vital. Alright guys, let's pick up this buck. So got a left lung at 195. It's going 236. And there goes our bobcat, and I did not bring another rifle for him. Or her, I should say. That was a female. And this guy here, 218 yards, got an intestine, stomach, and liver. Alright guys, so I did eventually spot another zone for whitetail. And they all got spooked for some reason. There was another bobcat around, so... When I spotted out the zone and checked it out, there was about 10 whitetail, and they are all coming back in. I got a really bad wind. But I did spot out a couple nice bucks before the fled. Uh, they're getting alert because of my wind. I don't think this is going to work out. I have been sending out calls, so yeah, they're definitely... Oh, they're almost right on top of me. I don't see any of the bigger bucks. That's a two minor, but I'm pretty sure I saw a bigger buck than that. Alright, I'm gonna have to get back with you guys. That's not a bad buck. If he turns, he's probably gonna flee. Smoke them. All right, let's pick him up. Sixty yards, got him right in the heart. All right, guys, I came across some more white tail. Uh, that's a bigger buck out of the herd. Alright guys, let's pick them up. Double lung at 217 yards. Alright folks, while well, the clip is coming to an end, so, here I am in my lodge. 
So here's the diamond whitetail buck that I got, scoring 259. And this is the whitetail buck that scored 250 that I did uh, last night, hunting the whitetail on Layton Lake. So I decided to place him in my lodge. Well, folks, like I said, that's going to be a wrap for the clip. For those that watch my videos, I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Crap them.